light, the uncreated light is a manifestation of these energies. So we, you know, we have all these light in the halos, right? This is actually meant to represent this uncreated energy of God that I told you about that infuses a human person. Just like real electricity. You're infused with it and you shine. And actually, they visibly shine. Uh, well, visibly is a bad use of the word. But anyway, this is what happens on the, at the transfiguration, right? The glory of Christ, which is, is, the un, is the glory of his divinity, shines out. It's his uncreated energies. And that's what this light is. And by communing with these energies, this is one main form in which a person experiences God in light. That light is just one manifestation of the energies of God. God's goodness is another manifestation. His mercy, His love. Um, but the light actually, within our Orthodox tradition, actually appears visibly. So it's, it's a sort of a further confirmation. Though oftentimes the saints, when they experience the light, they're not even sure that they're experiencing it. It's only when they stop experiencing it that they're like, wait, why is it so dark? Uh, there's a wonderful story of Elder Pisces, St. Pisces now of the Holy Mountain, who... Uh, you know, he was in his, doing his prayer roll and, you know, whatever, and he had this ecstatic experience uh, of, of the uncreated light. Uh, and when he came out, you know, everything was dark, and he was saying, what's going on? Like, it's, it's, it's almost noon, and it's still pitch black out. And the monk that, you know, he said it to was like, Father, what are you talking about? It's as bright as anything, you know, but... It's because the light of, of the radiance of God is so bright. Other saints will talk about as seeing, seeing two lights. The light of the sun and this other light. How is it possible to see two lights? Can you distinguish the light from this lamp from the light from that lamp, anyone? Like, what does that even mean? But if you experience it, it makes sense. And, and the interesting thing is when, when saints who have had the experience of God get together and start talking about what that experience is like, they know exactly what they're talking about. And they know what they mean. They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, that's a great way to describe it. Whereas the rest of us sitting there be like, two lights? One of the sun and one of something? And they're different at the same time as they're both shining? 